My Heritage has a powerful tree building tool that uses your DNA matches, but let's be honest, a chromosome browser often sounds like an intimidating sci-fi body scanner. However, we don't live in the world of Star Trek, but we do have amazing technology that today I'll walk you through using plain English. Join me to discover the MyHeritage chromosome browser, how it works, and most importantly, how you can use it to understand your DNA matches without making false conclusions. Let's start at the very beginning. A chromosome browser shows you exactly where on your DNA you match someone else. Not just that, you match where. Think of the visual graphics as a highlighter that marks the segment of DNA you share in common along specific chromosomes. There is a numerical data behind the graphics that pinpoints the location more precisely, but the graphic browsers help you see what the numbers mean. So what do the colored bars that you see on a browser mean? Each bar represents a segment of DNA you and a match inherited from a shared ancestor, be it a parent, great-grandparent, or someone more distant. Thus, a chromosome browser confirms Firms a relationship. Ultimately, you must know what you're looking for to ensure you don't incorrectly interpret your results. Before you can start understanding the MyHeritage chromosome browser, you have to access it. To open a browser on MyHeritage, go to any DNA match and scroll down the list. Click Review DNA Match. Under the Shared DNA Matches section, scroll to the Chromosome Browser area. Notice the colored bars, broken down by chromosome, and then a list of matching segments. Here's a bonus tip. If you want to compare more than one match at a time, click, then manually add up to seven matches. Each segment is labeled with a chromosome number a start and end location, and the size of the shared DNA in centimorgans, or CM for short. The bigger the segment, the more confident my heritage is that it's real and you'll find the most recent common ancestor. Here's a quick rule of thumb. Over 15 centimorgans will mean a good chance of a true match. Under 10 centimorgans, that's maybe noise it may be an ancient DNA match, and so research those with caution. But that also says under six centimorgans, it's not usually worth your time unless you're feeling machinistic. With that said, let's turn our attention to defining what triangulation is and why do people obsess over it. Triangulation is when you, match A and match B, all share the same segment of DNA on the same chromosome. That means you likely inherited that segment from the same ancestor. And yes, my heritage makes it easy by showing you a little icon next to your shared matches that triangulate. But here's the catch. Triangulation means that three of you share that segment. It does not mean you've solved anything. You still need to figure out who the common ancestor is. By knowing who matches and who doesn't, you can start ruling out who isn't the common ancestor and narrow down who they could be. Now here's something that trips up a lot of people. You might open the chromosome browser, compare yourself and two matches, and see three colored bars stacked right on top of each other. Same chromosome, same spot. So you're thinking, this has to be a triangulated segment. You might be wondering, why don't I see a triangulation box or label? The short answer is, triangulation means your matches also match each other on that exact same segment, not just you. In this case, both matches share that same segment with you, but they don't share it with each other, and that breaks the triangulation. But unless match A also matches match B on that same segment, there's no triangulation. My heritage checks that behind the scene. 
If the third leg of the triangle isn't confirmed, it won't show you the box, even if it looks like it should. So always trust the triangulation box over what your eyes think you're seeing. The chromosome browser only shows one bar per chromosome not separate strands for your maternal and paternal DNA. So when you see two matches overlapping on the same chromosome, they both match you, but you don't know which side of your family that segment came from. And if match A is from your mom's side and match B is from your dad's, they're not related to each other and they're not matching you on the same copy of that chromosome. That's why there's no triangulation, even if the colors stack up. So the bottom line is this. Triangulation only happens when all three people share the same segment on the same chromosome copy, meaning all three must be related through the same line. The triangulation box confirms this behind the scenes, so you, if you don't see it, don't assume it's just missing. It's doing its job. So when should you actually use the chromosome browser? For the most success, use the chromosome browser to confirm a hypothesis. Do you think two matches are from the same family line? See if they triangulate. See if they match on the same segment. Isolate segments by side. Do you have a known maternal cousin or a known paternal one? Use those known matches to label segments as mom's side and dad's side. Use the browser to spot people who share the same segment. That's a clue that they're part of the same genetic line. This concept warrants another video, so stay tuned for when that one is released. Let me leave you with a few final tips about what not to do with the chromosome browser. Don't assume everyone who shares a segment is closely related. Don't waste your time on segments under six cinnamorgans. Don't expect the chromosome browser to tell you the answer of how you're related. It's a tool, not a magic wand. Instead, save your sanity and build out your genetic family tree by picking one mystery match you want to figure out. Look at who else matches you and that person. Check for triangulated matches using the triangulation box icon. Open the chromosome browser for those matches. If three or more people share the same segment, you have a clue. Then go back to their trees and see where they overlap. You're not solving the identity with the browser. You're narrowing down the field. The MyHeritage chromosome browser is a great tool when you know what to look for. Use it to confirm segment sharing, identify triangulation groups, separate maternal and paternal matches, and zero in on one mystery match at a time. Don't try to master the whole thing overnight, and don't expect it to tell you who's your daddy. You still need a family tree. If this video was helpful in demystifying the chromosome browser, click the like button so more people can find it. But if you have a question or an aha moment, Drop those in the comment section below. And if you want more plain English DNA tutorials like this, hit subscribe so I know that you enjoy this content.